Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. This is Rachel. I'm Kevin. And today's the day we are going to pull all the goat kids off their moms over here in the Kiko Spanish pen and put them on their own pasture. And this is going to be the weaning stage. So we're going to have a lot of crying going on um, probably for the next week or two. Um, these goats are all over three months old now. They're all eating grain. They're eating grass. Some of them are still, well, probably about half of them are still nursing off their moms. But it's time to get them off their moms so their moms can start eating and getting all that nutrition back just for their self. Because here in just a few more months, it'll be breeding season again going in the fall time. And uh, this is, this is going to be a little bit of a process. So if you guys watched the last video, I got the tractor in there and I cleaned out the, the loft side of the barn where we have our hay feeder and all that. That way we can get our door closed. That part is going to be for the barn area for the little goats. So the dogs are going to stay together and they're going to stay in the big field. And pretty much our main goal today is getting the kids separated from their mom. We're going to try to get them all in the main barn right here. Try. Cl close the gates. I got a feed bucket full of food. We're going to feed them. Usually they'll all come to the feed bucket. Once we do that, then we got to move Cora and Leesky's feeders over here to this side on the fence and then we got another 50 gallon water tank over there on the ground we're going to put over here to have fresh water all the time they do have a big pond but we always like to keep fresh water so i'm already here crying going on so this is your uh warning there's gonna be a lot of crying hopefully not from either one of us <laughs> you, just six you of never part. know when it comes to these goats um one thing we got to remember is when we're grabbing them to watch out because they got horns about this big and one thing they do is they'll slam their head back and a lot of times their head's like right here when you're carrying them and they, they I've actually been punctured by one of their horns before so you got to be really careful. So you can you can see Cord and Leesky's right here they're ready to go. <laughs> so so Are the they? yeah Are they ready to they're, nap? they're ready to nap. The first thing <laughs> we need to do is try to get all the goats into the barn so what we're going to do is we're going to start feeding right now and then I'll have Rachel kind of go outside of the barn. Listen to her. Just listen. I'm coming. She's like, has such an annoying. I hear her. Listen. <laughs> she said food. <laughs> so what we're going to do is feed the goats. And then I'm going to have Rachel go outside the barn into the big pasture. And hopefully the dogs will follow her. And then that will be the first step is locking the dogs out. And here's one thing that I recommend, and this is this is a this is a pro tip. I'm gonna say anybody can use this. If you have livestock guardian dogs, they might be the nicest dogs. Every time you go out there, you guys see Cord and Leesky are never aggressive towards us. But the goats are their family. If I go in there and I start grabbing kids, I could turn around and if Leesky thinks I'm hurting that kid. He might be all up in my face with some big teeth. So we don't want to even chance that. We're just going to lock them out. Um, they will probably be a little stressed. cautious and stressed and nervous yeah. thinking what's going on or, the, or the, my family getting hurt. But right now they're just sleeping. So we're just going to avoid that. We're going to lock them out. Hopefully we'll just have all the goats in the barn. And then Rachel and I will start grabbing them and throwing the kids over into the new field. It's going to be a little chaotic. It will be briefly stressful uh on all of us but we're gonna try our best to get it done smoothly and efficiently and hopefully without any issues but one thing i want to touch on after you wean your kids you really need to keep a good eye on them because their stress levels will be really high because they're separated from their parents of course so they're susceptible to parasites and other sicknesses so just really make sure after the weaning process that you keep a really close eye on them yep and another thing we're going to do i'm going to grab some ear tags and i'm going to grab a bucket of medications that we use and some of the girls that we plan on keeping we'll try to ear tag the girls the boys we're not going to worry about right now um, whenever we load them into the trailer to take them to the cell that's when i'll get in there and ear tag all of them it's just way easier when there's a bunch of little goats or even big goats kind of compacted in a trailer they can't run and jump around from you so it's just easier just to get in there and uh, while they're all together and just start um tagging. Ear tagging them so i got this gopro right here i'll set it up on the fence just in case we so we don't miss anything cool so i'm gonna go grab the ear tags and the medication and we'll get started all right so we still got some stragglers way out there 
that's coming in from uh, browsing around. You guys can see. They know it's feeding time. Miss Corey's right here, and I got a bucket of feed. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed. Get everybody drawn into the barn. Okay, you guard the medicine, you got it? Little goats! Excuse me, little goat. Okay. Can't get out that way. So this is the first phase. I'm trying to get them all in here. Come on, goats! Everything's slow. There's still more coming out of the woods. Way over there. Come on, goats! Oh, Come on! Come on! <laughs> I thought that was all of them. That one's green. Can you, can you get these goats to come quicker? Come on! Come on, goats! Where's it under? Hurry up! You guys are missing out on dinner. Some of them's too dumb to realize. He said, where's my mama? They're yelling. This is the one that looks like it has a milk mustache. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hurry up. Come on, quit your crying. If we miss one or two, that's fine. We just gotta get the majority of them in the barn and shut it. We can grab them in a little bit. Yeah, take your sweet time. We're not in a hurry or nothing. Is this one a boy? Oh, uh, yeah. That one's funny. Yeah, so basically we were going to get up early and do this. We woke up this morning and it was storming pretty bad. And you can, just, you can see it's still pretty cloudy, but we got a break in the weather. So I think we're good for now. All right, so that's most of them. Come on. Come on. We got one over there, one right here. Come on, goat. All right, I'm gonna try to get these rounded up real quick. Okay, let's like close it. We can leave her out. Tony's in there. Come here, Cora. Come here, Come on. Get him here. Cora said, no, you're not getting my goats. Cora, come on. She don't, she won't. I've tried. Lisky man, why are you the only good one today? Come here, Cora. Cora, come on. Come here, Cora. Come here, Cora. Come here, Cora. Come on. She said, no, thanks. Come here, Leesky. What are you doing, girl? Come on. Leesky, come, come on. on. Come on. Come on. Cora, come on. Nope. Cora, come on. Come she on. She knows something's up. Cora. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here, girl. Come on. Yeah, some of them have really annoying tries. <laughs> okay, so we are going to close this door. Then I'm going to go ahead and open the gate up to the big field. So whenever we let the kids out of the big barn in the here, they can just run out into the field. Their creep feeder is filled up. If you guys caught the last video. So they got food and they got tons of grass to eat. So I'm gonna set this camera up and set the GoPro up out here. Who keeps crying? It's this little one right there. That one. It's noisy. I don't know. We'll check it. All right. Make sure it's not got nothing well, going on. So I'll probably have you stand right here at the door. I'll grab them and then you just open the door and start letting them out. But you gotta watch because some of these adults are gonna try to get out and some of the kids are gonna try to get back in. So we'll set the GoPro up out there and then uh, we'll get started. All right. Feed the 
boy. All right, one boy. There we go.
Is this the one with the milk mustache? I don't remember if it's this one or not. Don't knock the camera down. Ah! Another boy. This is the year of the boys. Yeah. 
still talk to him. How about that one? Yeah. The girl. Did we tag last year? Yep. So they don't have a tag. They're in this place here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's the last year when she has had a tag. Okay, who else wants in? We got them all in here. Rachel said there's two more out here. Let's see if we can get them to run in the barn. That one right there, and there's one down there. But Over there? Yeah. That one's a big one. That one's little. Probably a little girl. Okay, well, we didn't have to use the barn for that. So. Let's get her in here and get a near tag on her. I think I, I, think I got one near tag left. There's the dogs. Okay. okay. Okay, so we missed two, so I got the feed bucket. And, uh, Put 
Okay, let me out. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll tell the right behind me. It's like keeping pterodactyls yeah. out. All right, so here are all the kids. I think we got them all. I'm going to put a screw on that to hold it shut. Yep. So we want to train them that this creep feeder's here. So let me drop this food real quick. Right here. And it should train them to go up there. Come on. Come on, goats. All right, let me go grab the screws. He almost busted that through me. Yeah. Okay, open it up. Okay, we got the door secure, I think. We got a few screws in there. So now we're gonna go out and uh, start moving the dog's food dishes. You guys, if you watch the channel, you know how we feed them on the fence with the hanging dog feeders. Well, they can't get over there now, so I'm gonna have Rachel take them off and hand them to me and we'll, we'll relocate them over here. Hey, will you hand me these dog feeders? I wondered why you told me to stay over here. <laughs> well, I didn't want you to have to walk all the way back around. I thought, am I supposed to stay in the barn with the goats, or what's the deal? Okay, Cora picked her spot out. She don't know if she wants this one or that one, but she said that's that would work for her and Leesky. So now they're going to be fed over here. Tawny's like, oh, I wonder if there's any food in here yet. You ready to try your new dog feeder out? Well, it ain't new, it's just a new spot. Yeah. We'll try it out this evening when it cools down a little bit. Skater now. All right, we gotta get their water tank. I do hear one or two crying pretty good, actually. What is it? Oh, I'm just making sure there's no black Here widows. You go. Okay, you okay well, watch your fingers, because there's always black widows. Yeah, no, I can see there is a black widow around here, because I can see the, the nest. I meant the... Cobwebs. It's probably in those leaves. Come on, Skeet. He's making sure there's no frogs. Drip water. Yeah, it's good. It's out. Fresh water for not like that. She didn't like that. Oh, okay, we're almost done. I'm gonna let this fill up real quick. Alright guys, so we got one last thing to do. We got to adjust the creep feeder so the bigger ones can get in but a while ago when I came out the gate I had a couple of red wasps I think they're underneath this solar fence charger thing for the electric fence I think there's a nest up there so I'm gonna let Rachel hold the camera and then I'll uh, try to spray them so we don't get stung Got him. All right, so we'll set this right here in case we need it again. I don't like those red wasps. They don't feel too good. Aww. What's wrong? They're scared. Ta da! Here we go. Put 
basically, what I'm going to do on this, I'm just going to drop it all the way down. And because really we want all these guts to be able to get in there and eat. We're not trying to keep any of them out. Can they all fit through there, you think? Should be. Without the bar? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So that one's pretty big. Yeah, some of them's pretty husky. We'll just have to keep an eye on them and see. And see if we notice any that can't get in. Go over there and film them while I'm doing this. Go take a look at them. <laughs> nope. I don't want to. I don't want no part. No part. That one's got his hair standing up on the back of his back there. I don't know if you can see it. That one right there. His hair is standing straight up. And that one too. I was trying to count them, but they That's don't funny. be still. Man, there are some big ones. Yeah. Some of them are right at market size. Where's Daryl? Can you point out Daryl? I don't remember if Daryl has the black legs or not. I think that's him, but I'm not sure. No, <laughs> that's not Daryl. That's Daryl. That's Daryl. Over there. Maybe. I couldn't tell you to be honest. He don't Where's like that Daryl? <laughs> That is not Daryl. He did not have that much blood. I don't remember. He oh, he decided he didn't want us anymore. Look at this. So. I named this one Little Beard. That little, little white one. Oh yeah. He's the only one that's starting like a little beard. Little beard. Little beard. Well, let's not name them because we don't plan on keeping them. We might keep one. One Look of the how boys. Pretty. Look at that one over there. No, I'm talking about the girls. No, I know. I'm just saying. Look how pretty they all are. Yeah, we might keep one of the boys, but we'll see. Daryl's brother is a really good looking goat. We have some really nice looking ones. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. They're real husky through the neck and uh, just... Now they all think they're the king of the mountain. <coughs> so now we are done. Um, we're done over here. It's all over but the crying as you can tell. That'll be for a good week at least. So yeah. one thing I want to point out that this is just how we do it on our farm. This isn't necessarily how it has to be done. Um, some farms don't even wean their goats. That's perfectly fine. You just have to do what's right for you and your farm. Last um, year we didn't wean our goats. We right. just left them. We, left, we, we did separate the boys from the moms when it was time to sell them, but we didn't take the girls off of them. Right. We let them run with them all year long. Technically we could leave the girls on, uh, but since we're trying to make sure we have the exact stock that we want to keep that way we can keep an eye on them and watch them um, and then kind of do some further pulling that way but one thing I want to point out if you are going to wean your goats we typically do it at three months of age but it's really good to do it where the uh, the youth I don't know what you call them I call them teenage goats so we do it in a way that they can still see their parents and that takes some of the stress away so they can still see their moms through the fence uh, when they come over here. I think that they're hollering like freedom right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point because yeah. look at how many of the moms are at the fence. None. Let, so, me, let me show you. Yeah. So Rachel made a good point. The kids are going to stay at the fence and cry. But this mom right here, she's, she's kind of a clinger. She don't want to let go yet. So she's like she's staying halfway a over, but. so yeah but that that's something you don't want to take your goats and put them somewhere where they can't see the parents at all that just creates more stress so if you have a way you can do that they can see each other through the fence that is what i find ideal for weaning so with that being said, we're gonna wrap it up. We gotta go get um, the dogs fed. We gotta go get the other goats and never all the other birds and everybody else fed. We got tons more work to do. And we're gonna keep an eye on these, make sure everything's okay. I think everything's going good except for all the little battles going on. They're all just 
being goofy and trying to see who's the strongest they and are, stuff like that. Look at them. What do they call it? They're trying to find out who the alpha is at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's either one of those, but those are two good looking bucks. But it's pecking order. That's yeah, just pretty much. for goats. And they just play young bucks play yeah. and stuff all the time. So anyways, guys, subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Leave us a comment. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. See you later. Hey. You know you guys are going to get a headache, right? And I can't give you no ibuprofen. They said, uh, Your parents didn't fill out a release form for medicine. Ha, ha, ha.